What's going on YouTube? This is Dan here with um, kind of what was used to be a pretty good subject that I used to talk about a lot of a lot about, but I, you know, kind of shifted gears in the cars and stuff. I'm actually gonna do a uh, a Cedar Point update. So here it goes. <laughs> um, so a lot of people are wondering about you know Wicked Twister and. Really? <laughs> Sorry. Ohio bugs. Um, Wicked Twister and what's gonna take the Wicked Twister's place? And where the hell is my drink? Ha! Here we go. So I'm gonna sit down, drink this Pepsi, and tell you guys what I think. And as you guys know. I don't work for Cedar Point, so this is just my guess, so take it with a grain of salt, okay? What is going to replace Wicked Twist Twister? No one knows, except for the people who are planning. So right now the short answer is leave it to them. Now I'm going to give you my long ans answer. Will we see a record breaking roller coaster in that area? I'm going to say doubtful. The area just isn't too big, and you know, especially for a quote unquote 500 foot tall ride. Uh, so, yeah. Now, that doesn't mean they can't move Tiki's Whirl, Ferris Wheel. And some other stuff in Troika, maybe Dodgems and Max Air, that would open up a pretty good chunk of land. But don't forget, they still have the area by where the old gold dorms used to be that is sitting vacant too. So we have that. Now, where would they move all this stuff to? Probably the area by where gold where gold dorms is. That would be my guess. Um, as far as what would go there to replace Wicked Twister, like what roller coaster? Because usually they replace a roller coaster with a roller coaster. I don't know. I'm not sold on the fact of them getting a 500 foot tall RMC T Rex. I just. None of them's been built yet, but they did it with Dragster. They did it with some other rides. So, anything can happen. Now, we're not going to get an announcement this summer. Usually whenever they announce a big ride, it usually happens already. I mean, let's face it, guys. Everybody that's hoping for a big ride announcement, it's not going to happen. Time's come and gone. They usually open it, they usually announce it, I'm sorry, uh, in August. Usually Roller Coaster Appreciation Day. That's when they announced Steel Vengeance. That's when they announced a couple other rides, I believe so. Not 100% accurate. Now, another thing is let's shift gears and talk about Top Throw Dragster. First and foremost, I will say it is very, very unfortunate on what happened with that woman and that ride. That is a, it's a big mess. And I pray that she has a speedy recovery. Or she, I don't know if speedy, but I pray she has a, a recovery. And she's able to come out of it unscathed and still enjoy roller coasters. And I, you know, my heart goes out to her and her family. Um, so, with that being said, honestly guys, I think that the state is going to make them take Top Throw Dragster down. It's had a few too many issues, and it seems like the bad is really starting to outweigh the, go the good, and I think it's going to fall the same path that Sh Shoot the Rapids did. I mean, we're talking a bracket the size of my hand here. 
smacking a woman in the face. I, I honestly don't see that ride coming back from that. I'm not going to speculate who I think is at fault. I mean, stuff happens. I'm not going to blame Cedar Point's maintenance. Because I, I don't know. I don't work there. I just, I don't want to take away from the fact that somebody really got hurt. Um, now, if Cedar Point does keep the ride, will I ride it? Absolutely. Uh, I hear a lot of, oh, well, they need to build better barriers in the line. Well, that's not fixing the issue, though. The issue is that a piece of metal fell off of a roller coaster. Like, that's putting a band-aid on a bullet hole. So, they need to fix it. I mean, Loctite, whatever they got to do. Better inspections. I don't know. It could have been a final destination type of thing where things just magically come loose. I don't know. So, anyways, guys. I feel like if Cedar Point does get rid of Draxter, that's going to open up a pretty good-sized chunk of land. And really do good that's where you're going to get your 500 foot tall rmc you got the room for the the hill there so anyways guys that's what i got again i pray that the woman that got struck has a full and speedy recovery you know my thoughts and prayers go out to her family just that's just tragic right there and like I said, I pray that they get a good recovery. Anyways, guys, that's what I got. Wanted to kind of tell you guys what I thought. And that's just my own personal opinion. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.